Uh, as you know, we serve on the Higher Education Appropriations Committee together where you're uh, the chair. I'm feeling very rushed right now. Um, so I'm kind of generally wondering, uh, we've been meeting as a committee for five months. We've had several hours long committees about several different things that we deal with in higher education, including funding, including cost savings, including scholarships, including buildings, including a number of things. I don't recall us ever talking about the possibility of a merger between New College or F Florida Polytechnic University. Do you think that we should have discussed this at length in higher education rather than uh, filing this bill in the middle of session without the consultation of New College, without the consultation of Polytechnic or FSU or UF or the members of the Higher Education Appropriations Committee? You recognize? There were a whole lot of questions there. Uh, let me see if I can unpack them. Um, I'm not going to share who was, who was and was not consulted as the bill was put together. Uh, but I will say this. The bill was filed shortly after the end of the fourth week. The second thing is, and you came to our committee meetings. That data that I shared to Representative Good a little bit while ago, that was presented in committee. And if you will recall, it was a big deal because it was the first time ever, ever, that higher education appropriations had actually looked not just at what the cost of tuition was, but what the fully allocated cost of a degree was. And so if people couldn't see where we were going when we talked about some of these things in presentation after presentation after presentation, I, I'm sorry about that, but the, my concern that I expressed repeatedly about the wide variance and the cost per FTE and the cost per degree should not take anyone, as a surprise, anyone by surprise. I appreciate the thorough answer, Chair Fine. Um, you say that members of the committee, when we saw higher costs per degrees at New College and Polytechnic, it sounds like you're saying we should have read between the lines to understand that that presentation of data meant we would file a bill in the middle of session to eliminate those institutions and fold them up into larger universities. I didn't see that coming.